Welcome to Flip Tips. I'm your host, Kyle Buckley. I'm here with Chad Halverson, one of our brilliant editors, and he's going to talk about the top five editing tips. Okay, I guess number one for me would be pacing and tempo. Uh, the way I look at editing is almost like listening to your favorite song. Uh, it has a beginning, you have a rise, a fall, and you have an end, there's chorus, all kinds of different stuff. If your song is too fast, or in this case your edit is too fast, the information is going to go by too quickly where your audience isn't going to absorb the information. If it's too slow, they're going to get bored within the first 30 seconds, so you've lost them. Mm -hmm. uh, number two would be the right take, choosing the right take. Uh, always let performance choose and dictate which take you actually use. Uh, if you choose the best looking take and it doesn't enhance your story or enhance your protagonist or whatever, it's gonna you're gonna lose all feeling and people are gonna be confused at the end and it's just not gonna help your edit in the long run. Mm -hmm. Number three would be the B-roll buffet. Especially in an interview setting, having too much B-roll is never a bad idea. Um, you're As an editor, you're always gonna be cutting out butts, ands, pauses, anything to keep that pacing and that tempo secure. Um, to cover up all those cuts, you're gonna need a lot of footage. So never have enough B-roll. Um, or never... You can't have enough B-roll. You can't have enough B-roll. Okay, so number four would be multiple audio sources. Uh, a big, a big dent in an editing process is having an audio source that doesn't work. So having an extra mic or in my case, like 18 extra mics, is never a bad idea. I don't trust technology. Um, there's too many var uh, variables where it could be windy out, uh, the boom could rattle. Never a bad idea to have enough mics, so have your shotgun, have your love, have your boom mic, anything. And number five, the last thing, would be the last defense. Uh, you are the last person in the production line as far as quality control. So. If you're missing uh, or you have a misspelling on a lower third or you're missing an audio transition or a visual transition, it's your fault if you miss that. So always pay attention before you hit that render button, before you send it off. Make sure it's 110% to completion and you won't run into problems. So there you have it, the top five editing tips. That's Chad. I'm Kyle. We'll see you next time.